Hey guys, I get a lot of questions on my rod and reel setups that I'm using for my applications out on the water. And really, it's pretty simple. I always leave with these three favorite setups of mine. And the first one is a seven foot medium heavy, it's a jig rod. You know, I, and I can throw this on a chatter bait, I can use it for a spinner bait, uh, you know, a lot of different things you can use with it. And I can use it on a six, six to one, the Revo X, and you can bump it up to a seven to one, to flip docks to pitch a jig around. And right now I'm throwing just a swim jig on it. It's a great rod, it's got a soft tip on it to make cast, but it's got a nice backbone to pull fish out of cover to get them out of docks or structure. So this is, this is a good setup right here. You, you just, all around, you know, guys that want to have uh, a, a rod that you can use for different applications. You don't have to have five different rods on there. You can, you can use that one rod all day for three or four different baits. It's a real good deal. And the next, is a 7.3 medium heavy Veritas. This is an all around great rod again, but I really like it for, for dragging out on points with a, with a power worm or a jig. Th this rod has another soft tip to it and a lot of backbone, and it's a versatile rod. You can throw this on a frog, on a topwater, a lot of different things. Uh, this I have on a Revo SX, seven to one gear ratio, uh, to pick up that line when a fish bites it. Uh, and it's super light. This thing is a, a very light setup. Uh, but like again, very versatile and great for a power worm. And the last setup that I like to have is a 7-Eleven heavy deep diving crankbait rod because you know in the summer months you got to have something to get down there to them deep fish. And this Veritas rod is is very limber. Uh, you can cast it a mile. This Berkeley Dredger is 25.5, and you have no problem launching it. And I like to throw it on an Abu Garcia Revo winch, uh, five four to one gear ratio. It's it's a slower reel, allows that bait to get get down there, and you don't overwork the bait. And that's important with cranking. You don't want to overwork the bait. You got a lot of torque with it, and this rod is just very sensitive. You know when you're coming across the sand, going into that rock pile or the brush. Uh, just an overall great rod and it loads up great on those big fish. So there you go. Those are my three favorite rod setups because it covers a whole water column. I can use multiple baits on each rod and that's going to help me put more fish in the boat throughout the day.